I went to film school, so I do have techniques that I use in terms of acting. Um, but Hi guys, hey, see who we have here, the one and only, the superstar, our super actress. Yeni akona kila kitu, urembo akona yo. Hey, yani kila kitu, u urembo aki wacha tu. Nyuele, smile, nini, you're really doing an amazing job, Sarah. Thank you, How thank you. you? I'm good, I'm good, uh -huh. thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming. You're welcome. Yeah. Dress code, now you may kill. Dressed you? Uh, Beatrice from Stitch Fabrics. Uh -huh. She's really amazing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. How much did it cost, maybe? Um, Piggy a sim. <laughs> <laughs> we've okay. seen, we've seen Zari, and clearly it's a nice one. You really delivered. Now, to me, kuzoe ya weni mtu waku deliver. Ata tu semi ya tinini. Maybe how does it make you feel, Ukiona? Anything that you do, ina kuafiti. I'm appreciative. It all boils down to the story. Um, the, it, it's a group effort, so it's not simi mi pekeangu. So it's all of us who've come together to create something that is amazing. So it's a group effort sana when you know you watch and you say it's it's amazing. Yeah. All right, Sarah. Maybe you could tell us how it was just um, you know being on set and being a main character on this uh, particular movie. Um, it's been amazing. The, I, I love the role. It has many layers to it and it's very fast paced. Zari is a very intriguing show. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Allah. What just happened? Yeah, so it's really exciting to be part of a show that the story is really good, has amazing cast, has amazing crew, so I'm really grateful for that. And Sarah, it's not the first time you're working with Jiffy Pictures. We've seen you working with them like quite some time. And uh, what do you think is the one thing that you always do? And you know, every time you work on a project, they look for you, wanna fish a pale. Um, so this is the second project I've worked with Jiffy. I think I would say being consistent in your work, being disciplined in in your craft, coming on set having prepared. So it's 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 basically it boils down to discipline as an actor. I think that is what would make a producer come back to you. You deliver, you come on set, having your lines prepped, you have discipline, you're hard working. So I think that's just the basics. Yeah, we've seen you are an amazing actress since Tahidi High. And like what makes you unique? Like what makes you sink into your character? Wow, I, I don't know how to answer that, but for me every role is different. A lot of research goes into every single role I do so that it's an individual. So for Zari, I play the role of Nina. Um, what I usually do with every character is create this character as a human being. Um, where do they go to primary, high school, university, what makes them, what motivates them to do the things they do and this differentiates all the characters that I end up doing such that each character is unique and has their own voice. So yeah, I would say that yeah. makes it really fun, yeah. Right. So you as uh, Sarah Hassan, what is your end goal? Maybe we've seen you in Kenyan films. Are you maybe seeing yourself in international films maybe? <laughs> yeah, for sure, you know, we all have big dreams and it's good to have big dreams because it pushes you to do more. Um, so yeah, and I'd say that's why I even got into producing as well. So so yeah, I would say it's, I'm not going to sort of say my dreams here. I can't You know, Sarah, you do quite a lot. <laughs> you do quite a lot. You're a mom, you're a wife, you're an actress, you're an influencer. What keeps you moving, especially the days that you feel like you actually don't want to go? How do you balance? I think it's the love for what I do. Because if you're passionate about what you do, do you, you're really working. Like it, I would rather be doing what I'm doing and waking up at like 5 a.m. coming home at midnight as opposed to doing an 8 to 5. It makes me happy, it makes my soul happy. So. How are you able to balance all that? It's time management. Yeah, it's time management. It's about prioritizing the time that you have to work. It's literally about prioritizing. Yeah, so it's your. Okay, so behind the scenes, Sarah, we see that still you're friends with most of the cast on Zari, and I'm referring to Brenda Wairimo and people like Rashid. So how would you de describe your relationship behind the screen? Oh. Brenda and I, this is actually the first project we have ever worked on. We have never been on a set together. 
Um, we've been in the industry together for for a long minute. Yeah. But last year, November was the first time we actually like hung out. We went to South Africa together for something, and we're just hanging out. Our vibes just they blended. Our energies just clicked. And in May, I actually posted a picture, and I wished her a happy birthday. And I said, you, I said, you know, hopefully we've never been on a set together. Hopefully, we will be on a set together. And then even her, she's like, yes, you know, with the right project, God's timing. And then fast forward. We're on set together um, on a long-term project with amazing bosses like Lulu and Rashid, so it's it's fantastic. Wait, no, no. Okay, uh, we also know that you were majoring on a, a very huge TV show that was Crime and Justice, yes. and I, it's kind of disappearing from from our screens right now. So would you talk more about uh, about that? Tell us more. Oh wow! I, for Crime and Justice, we did season one and season two. Yeah. I was part of the cast. I know for after that they did an adaptation in Nigeria, which was Crime and Justice Lagos. But I have no. I don't think that it's coming back for a season three, unfortunately. So that's official. It's our producer um, Adam. He he told us that it wouldn't be coming back since it was adapted to Nigerian market. Wow. Yeah. So now when I look at the movie you've been featured in, you look so natural. You una ito agavi natural sana. If it's crying, Sarah will cry. Yeah. If it's being a bad person, you'll be a bad person. Like how do you do that? It's all about investing in the in the character. If you if you there's different techniques in terms of acting. But for one, I would say a lot of research and also being able to immerse yourself in that character. Every actor has different methods that they use in terms of delivering and in terms of bringing out that character. So that's very individual in terms of actors. Some use specific techniques. Um, so for me, I would say a lot of research and also I went to film school, so I do have techniques that I use in terms of acting. Um, but I'll say. Just basically, if you do your research and immerse yourself in the character, it's like you going through your own experiences. They come out more natural. So if you make this person a whole being, then what you're doing is reacting. It's not you're not acting. You are them. Sure. So, so maybe, then, maybe so if you can it. talk to the young actors out there who really look up to you, just a few words. Oh, wow. I would say be consistent. Um, Follow casting directors um, online. Those are the people who will most likely get you into rooms that you need to be, as opposed to actors, because even us, we are called by the casting directors. Um, so if you follow them, like for Zari, uh, our casting director is Lorella, and she's always casting because it's an on Zari is an ongoing telenovela, meaning down the road in like two weeks, you never know what kind of character she will be looking for yeah. so and nowadays with the digital age it's much better to uh, it's much easier to see because they post online um and i would say just just keep at it don't don't give up yeah maybe up to date ni moving up ya masiri singapi uh sarah hassan amekuwa featured in ha jamani siezi anza kuka but approximately because i know uh, you inspire so many people by the including me and uh, after ukisha sema hata kama ni approximate kuna mtu pale maybe ndo anafikiria kuanza atajua eh one day i'll do that oh they are, they are, they're quite ni mingi they're quite they're quite, they're quite a bit uh -huh. yeah Okay, and before you go, Sarah, uh, I think this is something that is a challenge to most actresses who have been on screen for so long. And uh, we think we've seen you so much here, yeah? and I think people tend to ask this. We have familiar faces on our screen throughout, you being one of them. Do you think that uh, that gets to you, or how do you face that? Um, not really. I remember before... Before I came back and did Crime and Justice and Zora, yeah. I wasn't on the screen for about seven years. Yeah. Yes, I wasn't around for seven years. Mm -hmm. But then you, you know, I, I come back and I do Crime and Justice and Zora mm -hmm. at the same time, and people like, oh yeah, it's the same. I'm like, but I was not, I was not there for all those years, and it's, you know, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It, Does it get to you? No, not really. Um, at the moment, no, because what you put out in the universe is what is what comes back yes so for me I'm usually happy to see people that I know you know you know get new gigs and stuff because I know they've worked hard to get where they are um, but no I mean, it's it's life isn't it? <laughs> and, and Sarah how do you handle fame? 
how do you handle because you are famous you are uh, someone when kila mtu anatambua na kazi yako actually how do you handle such uh, I, i would say having family that grounds you for me is a is a big thing um because we've been at it since tahidi yeah. and and stuff so i think just having something someone people that ground you um that that's that's key yeah thank you so much thank you guys